everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Laura. Today I'm excited to be sharing some of my recent favorites with you. These are things that I've been enjoying over the summer months and even beyond or before that, some of these items I've been using for years. And I thought it would be fun to just share some of them with you. If you follow me over on Instagram, you may have seen me mention some of these items before, but I also have a lot of new things to share today. We're going to cover a range of categories from fashion to baby to home goods and health. None of these items are sponsored. I've purchased them all with my own money. And I also want you to know that there is no pressure for you to go out and purchase any of these things. We are not a fan of impulse buying around here, but if you do happen to come across something that I share that you have been on the hunt for, I will leave links down in the description box. I did also recently open an Amazon storefront finally, so I will share that down below for you as well. A lot of the things that I share today can be found on there. And also just for full disclosure, I might receive a small commission on some of the links, but that is at no extra cost for you. And that directly helps to support my channel here on YouTube. So thank you so much for that support. And speaking of support, if you do enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It seriously takes less than a second and really helps my channel out tremendously. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started in the first category, which is beauty. I do not pretend for even a second to know much about beauty, makeup, skincare, all those sorts of things. It's not really something that interests me to know about. But actually, in one of my first vlogs here, I mentioned my desire to take better care of my skin and to find some really good quality products with good ingredients that I could use. I keep my skincare and makeup super minimal, but I want to share a couple things that I have found and have been using over the recent months throughout the summer that have been really, really great. So the first one is this All Bright C Serum. This is by the brand Beauty Counter which actually I don't think that their company is live right now. I'm not sure why you can research that if you want to, but I know that these products can be found a few other places like Ulta, I believe sells this one, but there are a few things that I really, really enjoy with this C serum. First of all, it just smells amazing. It smells so citrusy and refreshing. So it helps to brighten my skin and I have noticed that it does work well. I use it in the mornings after washing my face and it's also quick absorbing, which I really appreciate because I do not like the feeling of like a film or like stickiness on my face. So it soaks in really, really smoothly, which is great and allows for like easy layering and things like that. And what it does is it helps to even your skin tone. That's what really drew me into trying it in the first place. And it also helps to just improve brightness and radiance. It gives you like a nice sort of glow. And besides all that, just feels really refreshing and rejuvenating. And then another product that I've been using by the same brand, Beauty Counter, is their Counter Match Eye Rescue Cream. This is another thing. It just feels very pampering, especially on the nights that I have not slept very well. I will put this on just like my under eye and even above my eye like it's very 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 gentle and it helps to just moisturize wake up your tired eyes and again absorb so easily it goes on very very smoothly and it helps with things such as under eye shadows puffiness dark circles and apparently i looked it up the cream is derived from olives which i guess is why it's so like creamy and um, like gently exfoliates even is because of the olives and shea butter also which helps to hydrate and condition your skin. So for me personally I don't use this every morning. It does say to use it twice but if I use it it will just be in the mornings and specifically on the mornings when I just feel like I need a little bit of extra help waking up. Next is my makeup remover which I have been using for years. It's an absolute dream. For years before that, I would use the makeup remover wipes, which worked, but they were very expensive and it was just a one-time use thing and I had to throw them away. So with this, my cellar water is something that lasts a long time. This bottle will last me about six months and I can put on a reusable cotton round, use it to take off my makeup and it's very, very, very gentle. I've never had any sort of reaction from it. And I also appreciate that it is fragrance 
free. Technically, it is also a cleanser. I just use it to remove my makeup. Um, it has never hurt my eyes, but you can also use it as a cleanser because you don't even need to rinse it off. I just don't. Um, I do prefer to rinse it off because I like the face cleanser that I use already. And there have been other makeup remover things that I have used that seriously burn my eyes. This, like I said, it never has. It is so gentle. It is labeled as sensitive for sensitive skin, face, and eyes. And it also works really well so I don't have to like rub at my eyes and really, really work at my makeup to get it off. Quite a number of months ago, I decided that I would never buy cheap perfume again. And for me, I thought that meant that I just wouldn't wouldn't wear perfume because I didn't know that there were even clean perfume options out there until I found Dime Beauty's perfume. I ordered their testing kit, so that is all that I've tried, but I do plan on purchasing one of their actual perfumes. So their test kit, I think, comes with five. One of them I just didn't care for at all, so I actually just tossed it because I really didn't like it. And I would say the two that I have loved the most are Core Memory and Seven Summers. And I'm planning, I'll probably purchase, I think I'll go with Seven Summers, but both of these ones are very sweet smelling. They are, I would say they're warm. Um, again, I'm not like an expert in scents or anything, but there's like some vanilla notes in there, I think with the Seven Summers. And so I'm really excited to get the actual bottle of that one. It doesn't give me a headache. It doesn't smell like chemically like other ones that I've tried. It just feels fresh and more natural. And so I've been really enjoying those. So ever since becoming a mom, I have been on a little bit of a journey of trying to rediscover my style. I did a massive closet overhaul. I decluttered so much and a lot of the items that I donated were things that didn't fit, that weren't functional, that I just knew I wouldn't wear anymore. And so I'm really glad that I did that, but ever since, I've been trying to find pieces that do work for me, that are comfortable, that are practical. I look for items that are feminine, that have more of a neutral or earthy color palette. I wouldn't say that I have a capsule wardrobe, but I do want the pieces in my wardrobe to be more cohesive. So those have been a bit of my goals when trying to find clothes over the past year. And I have just a few that I have been really liking that I will share with you today. So the first is actually this little blouse. I find it really hard to find tops that I like that fit well, that are comfortable and again, practical. But this one I really, really like. I did just wash it and I need to iron it. But what drew me to this at the store when I saw it was the cream color I love because it goes with lots and I love the texture of the material. And then when I looked, I saw that it is 100% cotton, which was just the cherry on top. And so I've been wearing this a lot. I've worn it for a date night. I've worn it just like out to, you know, do errands or whatever, going to the mall. And so it's a really, really cute one. I pair it with some jeans and I also love these sleeves. I just really enjoy big or um, detailed puffy sleeves. These ones are really, really cute. And for reference, this I got in a medium as well as the other things that I'm gonna share. I am also 5'8", if that is helpful. Okay. Next up is this really, really pretty blouse. This is from Carly Jean Los Angeles, which I used to purchase clothing from them more when I was in college and I kind of forgot about them until recently. And I've been really liking this blouse. For summer, I wore it more, I think in the spring when it was a little bit cooler, um, but I just really love the blue color and also the vertical stripe. I've realized horizontal stripes aren't really my thing. They don't really <laughs> work for me. So the vertical stripe is a bit more slimming, which is nice. And I love the length of this top. I love the buttons, the flowy feeling of it. 
and I wear this with white pants. That's what I pair it with. It is a bit sheer or see-through, so I do wear a tank top underneath. And then the last item that I want to share is a dress. I have been loving dresses, especially for church on Sundays. I don't wear long dresses like this too much around the house. I just don't find them super practical. I will wear like shorter dresses. Um, but this one is from New Flora, which I've got a couple pieces from them. And I think moving forward for me, I would consider purchasing dresses from there. Um, They're quite pricey, but I have found that the quality is really good with the dresses. As for like blouses, I don't think, I just don't think I'll purchase them from there. I don't really think that it's worth it, but the dresses, I love them and I just think that the style is so pretty. I have not found anywhere else that has styles like this. So this one is the Laura Wood, which is very fitting because Laura, um, and it's a medium and I love this dress and a lot of their dresses because they're nursing friendly, bump friendly, postpartum friendly, <laughs> all the things and work really, really well for this season of life. And I just love wearing dresses because you don't have to choose an outfit. You just choose a dress. <laughs> it is so much more simple. And the details on this one are just so dainty and feminine. And again, the sleeves, the puff sleeves, oh, I just love them. All right, so this item I have to share is definitely more on the practical side. <laughs> it is a playpen blackout cover. We got this very soon after Danny was born. It was very cheap from Amazon and we've used it so much. We've used it going overnight places. We've used it camping. We've used it, I mean, just so much and it works really well. It does have good airflow. There's a part on top that you can unzip and a part on the side as well. And it just ties down to your playpen goes on top. Oh, we even used this on a boat. Danny <laughs> took a nap when we were on a boat. And so we just put this over the playpen and it makes it so easy. I also love that it folds up pretty well. It's not super big to take with you places. And it might just seem like a random thing to mention, but <laughs> it's really been so helpful and practical. And I've actually talked to a number of mom friends that didn't even know that these existed. And so I definitely wanted to mention it because it's been one of the top most helpful things with having a baby. And so in case you didn't know that these blackout playpen covers existed, now you do. And I hope that might be helpful for someone out there. Another baby item that has been fun and that we've been enjoying is this music set that we actually gave Danny for his birthday. I think it is recommended for ages three and up. So there's actually only a few instruments that he plays with now. He just turned one. And so he loves the maracas, the tambourine a little bit. Um, but there's a few instruments that he'll definitely use more when he is older. But I also like that because I think it's something that he'll use when he's older that he'll use for years. And it's been fun because we will sometimes have like a little bit of a music time. I will put on some music. And he's at the age where like he will dance and enjoy that and he will have his instruments or I'll play some of them and show him how they work and we can <laughs> make music together. So that's been really fun and it was very inexpensive. And I also like the colors. I just think that it's a really cute music set if you are looking for one. All right, so there are a couple good things in this category. First, I want to share about my vintage label maker. I got this when I did a pantry reorganization, but I've used it for so many other things. I have used it to label drawers in the nursery, um, sensory bins that I've done, things in like our kitchen drawers or shelves. I mean, you can just use it for anything. And I love the vintage style of label. I think it just adds a nice touch. And I also like that this way the labels in our home are the same. They're really cohesive and it's super easy to just buy um, some of the replacement label. 
Um, but I haven't actually had to yet. I've used this quite a bit and I haven't needed to buy a new one. So I think it also came with two. So I think I already have one to use, which is nice. And I like that it's super small and can just fit in a drawer in my kitchen or a pantry. And I can pull it out whenever I want to label something. All right. If you do follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen me talk about and mention Antique Candle Co. I could not love this candle company more. They are a, I believe they're family owned, but they are a Christian business, which I love supporting other Christian businesses. And they, I believe are in Indiana. Yeah, poured in Indiana. So I've tried a few of their scents. These ones, I haven't tried yet, like I haven't burnt them yet, but they smell so good. Oh, so this is the mixed, mixed berry crumble. I wish you could smell that. It smells amazing. And then this one is the vanilla spice latte. This one is like a little more fall smelling to me. So I have purchased the 16 ounce. They are soy wax. And you can also buy, I believe like bundles on there and you can even get matches and like candle trimmers and things like that. So I will also say the favorite scent that I have had is the country pear scent. I think if I just had to choose one, that would absolutely be it. I have never smelled a scent quite like it. It is so good. <laughs> I always go for more of the food scents and this one is really really good. It's very sweet but it's also not like so scrumptious smelling that you just want to like bake something or have like cake or cookies or something like that but it is definitely it's really 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 nice and I think I might even just get that one exclusively because I, I like it that much. Okay last in the home category is something that I have had on my list of like possible things to purchase for well over a year and I finally did and I'm so glad that I did and that is my cast iron pan. I have a cast iron Dutch oven um, but I've never used a cast iron pan and I have been loving it. I love that it's non-toxic. It is a little bit like there's a little bit more care because you do have to season it but it takes just a couple minutes. It's not difficult and totally worth it in my opinion. And you may not know this, but using a cast iron pan actually infuses more iron into your food. This is the same type of iron that is found in things like beans and spinach. And so that's just like an added bonus because I feel like we just don't get enough iron anyways as humans. And so having your cooking appliances literally adding iron to your food, I think is just great. I do think I will actually purchase a bigger size to replace all of our frying pans. This one is the 10 and a half inch one, which I do think is a really good, just medium, basic size. I can fry like four eggs in it. I can cook sausage. I can do so much. And of course it's great too, because I can put it in the oven. So a lot of recipes that maybe require an oven or stove and oven, it's very versatile. So I really appreciate that as well. Okay, raise your hand if you don't drink enough water every day. I will be the first to admit that getting my water intake is so difficult, but it has been better and easier since I got this tumbler. This is 40 ounces, which is a great amount of water. I try to drink two of these every day and I have loved, I've just loved this. I've loved this tumbler. I like the color. I like that it's minimal. It's stainless steel, so it keeps um, my water cold. I really like ice water. So if I put ice water in here, it'll be cold for 24 hours. But the best thing about this tumbler is that it fits in my cup holder in my car. It fits in my cup holder in my stroller. And really any sort of cup holder that you can imagine it will fit because it has the skinnier bottom. That's why I got it originally because I had all these water bottles that did not fit in my car. And so I would put them on the seat or on the floor and then water would get everywhere. Also now having a stroller, I always am taking my water with me on walks. And so having it to fit in the cup holder is just so important. And if that wasn't even good enough, which it totally is, 
also fits in my diaper bag. I can put it on or in like the pocket on the inside and it will zip up over top. I mean, it's just a dream. <laughs> I have been using Organica products for years, but I started taking their collagen after having Danny because I had heard and read that collagen was really helpful in just rebuilding, even in things like postpartum hair loss and just your skin in general for anybody. And I really like this one because I've tried other ones even I've tried other ones by Organica that are like flavored to add to water. I haven't liked the taste, but this one is flavorless and I will add it to smoothies. I have added it to coffee, to iced coffee, to hot coffee. You can even add it to hot chocolate or tea if you're a tea drinker. And I love that this one is grass fed sourced and has nine grams of protein per serving. It helps to support skin elasticity and hydration even your gut health and gut lining, which I didn't even know until I started researching more about it. And it also helps to strengthen your bones and joints and hair and nails. I put these last few items in this sort of other category because I wasn't sure where else they would fit in. And they do actually kind of go together. First is a Bible I recently upgraded my Bible I had had for years and years and years, and this is a journaling Bible. My previous one, which I still do have on a bookshelf, was also a journaling Bible, and I wrote quite a lot in that Bible. And I guess I just wanted a new one as kind of a fresh start, one that didn't have my own writing in it. And so I purchased this one, which is ESV, and it does have the journaling lines, I'm not even sure if I will use them. I do maybe kind of wish it didn't have the lines, but I have highlighted a little bit and I really like the cover. I like the blue and white. It is like a cloth material, so it, it feels just like a book and is a nice size too. It's not super big and clunky. And then I also have um, my study Bible, which is big and massive. So that's one that I just keep at home, but this is one that I will take to church with me and use like for my daily devotions type thing. And then also what kind of goes along with that are <laughs> these pens and highlighters that I've been using for so long, but I just, I just love them so much. <laughs> they are by the Mr. Pen brand, which I went to a conference recently and they were actually there, this brand. So I got some more of these pens because they're my absolute favorite. They are, I believe they're gel. I'm not sure like what point they are, but I am a sucker for stationery, for pens, for highlighters. Maybe it's the teacher in me <laughs> that just loves these sorts of things, like back to school supplies. Um, but I also, of course, really like the colors, the pastel colors are very great, are very nice. And I use these pens all the time. Also, they're highlighters, which are specifically Bible highlighters. Again, the colors are very nice and subtle and do work really, really well in my Bible. They don't bleed through. They're more like a waxy crayon sort of um, material. And so that's why they don't bleed in your Bible. All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you did. Thank you for being here, for spending some time with me today, whether I'm sharing a decluttering video, a motherhood type video, a lifestyle day in the life vlog, or a favorites video like this one. Your support truly means the world to me. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.